Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this session. So here we're going to learn how to configure a uh, switch port, port security. So actually this kind of traditional method of um, securing your LAN, okay? Nowadays, you know, people use NAC, Network uh, Access Control. So we have um, mechanisms like uh, Fortinac, Cisco ISC, etc., uh, etc. Et okay. So this is just a traditional type of security. Okay. So let's learn, let's learn how to configure it on GNS3. Okay. So basically, uh, by default, you know, switch ports are turned on and allow everyone to connect. So you know, bad guys can take uh, that kind of advantage, right? So we need to do port security to prevent unauthorized access, okay? All right, so we can do port security basically we do by the limiting the number of ad uh, MAC addresses, okay? That connects to a particular port. So for example, we put on, on a particular port, we, we configure that only one computer access that port. So if another computer tries to access that port, it's being blocked, okay? Right. So there are two ways we obtain MAC addresses to append to that particular port. First of all, we can use set static MAC address or sticky method, which will automatically get MAC address of the connecting computer, okay? And this is how to configure uh, port security. First of all, you need to enter that interface. You need to make it a uh, access, then make it a uh, port security, then set the maximum number of devices that you want uh, be connected to that port, maybe two or one, okay? Then you can either, on the part of, on the part of MAC address, you can either, either configure the actual MAC address or on this side, use sticky method. The sticky method will get MAC address from the connecting computer at automatically, okay? Then you use violation mode. So basically there are three violation modes, protect, restrict, and shut down. The default one is always shut down, okay? Right, so in this video, let's, let's learn how to configure the three now. So basically, I'll go to this arm um, and just uh, turn it on, okay? Okay, but for these two computers, I'm just going to turn them off because they consume a lot of uh, memory, okay? You know, these are actual uh, Windows computer, right? Okay, right. So I'm just going to this switch here, okay? And uh, let's start with the first interface, which is... Um, so, config T, uh, auth name to be switch, okay? Interface at 0 slash 0, okay? Switch port mode, access, then switch port mode, 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 okay? Then switch port 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 security okay then switch port port security port security maximum i want only one device only this device to connect to this computer here, okay maximum one okay then port security uh switch port um port security mac address so for this one and this one, I'll use a uh, sticky to get MAC address uh, automatically, okay? All right. And for this one, I'm going to use, um, uh, let's, which, which violation mode? Uh, we can use protect, restrict, and shut down, okay? All right, so let's just go here and, uh, and finally, switch port port security uh, violation to be shut down. Violation basically means that when the rules have been violated, what do you want to do? I want to shut down that switch, or I want to restrict that switch, or I want to protect that switch port. Okay, so in this case, let's just try with the protect. Okay, perfect, exit. Then we go to this interface, which is a uh, gig, 
this is gig uh, gig zero one. I mean Ethernet zero one. Okay. So similarly, we go to Ethernet zero one. Ethernet zero one. Then switch port mode access. Switch port port security. Then switch port port security maximum. Maximum, I want only one device to connect there, okay? Then switch port, port security, MAC address. So here, we are not going to use stick, we're going to use manual, okay? Okay, let me just say IF config, IP config, oops. It's not working here. How will I know the MAC address of this particular computer if it's not working? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then LP. Okay, so still I'm just going to use, because I'm not able to get MAC address of this computer, let me just use sticky. I'm just going to use sticky method still to obtain the MAC address, okay? Okay, then switch port, port security, violation, protect, exit. And finally, we go to this final interface, which is uh, it's Ethernet uh, at zero zero two. Okay, so at zero two, switch port mode access. Then switch port port security. Okay, switch port port security maximum. How I many number of devices? Only one. Then switch port port security. Um, MAC address sticky still. To get it automatically, okay. Sweet port, 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 uh, sweet port, port security violation. I want to shut down whenever the security is breached, okay. And do right, do show sweet port, okay. Do show sweet port, do show sweet port, port security, do show port security. Perfect. Uh, do you show for security? You can see we have we have secured how many interfaces to only to only have one devices and the violation modes are here. Okay, right. Okay, so if you can just say do show start as well. You can see them on each interface. Okay. So you can see this one has actually gotten a uh, MAC address because we tried to ping. Whenever you try to ping, you know that request goes to the switch. So the switch obtains the MAC address. Okay. All right. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much, guys. I believe you've learned how to configure port security on GNS3. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and drop a comment below. Bye. And see you again in the next.